The Grey Cup Festival is in Vancouver for the 17th time as the Toronto Argonauts face the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in the November 17th championship at BC Place Stadium. The Canadian Football League celebrated its best on field and off at the annual awards on November 14th in the Vancouver Convention Centre. BC Lions owner Amar Doman was presented the Commissioner's Award. The zip lines out there are lined up. We've got, as I mentioned, 6,000 kids coming through in two days. All wearing Lions shirts. Everyone's into it. The rain's held off a bit. I'll tell you what, just walking around here, I mean, this is a 12 out of 10. And uh, I think we've done a great job even on day one here, really. And uh, let's wait for the next couple of days. It's going to get better, and then the game's coming. Can't wait. You know, there's a buzz around this city about the BC Lions now. It just started, I would say, to be more relevant in the last 12 months where you see people wearing the swag more. It's all the younger generation, but the older people we've got, they're the CFLers, the diehards. But really seeing the young kids come in, I just even hear walking around today, a lot of fans are here, but they're here with their kids saying, we're going to games, we're keeping the prices down, we're making it affordable. Those four o'clock starts are killer good. The Saturday games in the playoffs, the ratings are up, getting away from Sunday, competing with the NFL. Little adjustments I think that the league has made um, has really brought in these fans here locally uh, and all across the province. Victoria was such a big success as well. You know, doing these little things is really adding up into a new strong fan base, no matter how this team's playing. But the CFL is about community, it's about sport, it's about people, and it's about athletics. And there's a lot more to CFL than P&L. And, you know, we really believe that we're stewards of this franchise for the next number of decades. Amar, it was a disappointing result for your team in the playoffs. What changes will there be to the coaching staff or the front office going forward? Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of sit down after the Great Cup's done to just kind of review. Um, we just haven't had that opportunity. Dwayne's been busy and it's not an excuse. We just haven't done the deep dive yet to kind of review the season and see what the future looks like. You know, number one is getting the fan base back in, getting the, uh, the media up. And those two things obviously is what our league are. Listen, we're a small country. We can't compare ourselves to different leagues like the NFL and things like that. That's just being crazy. What you have to do is look at the market you're in, get those values up by really building your product. And I think one of the biggest things we need to do is see where the eyeballs are going with the kids, right? We watch the TV. Kids don't know there's a TV, they're all on their phones, so streaming is going to be very important in my, my, my view over time. And more kids can really look at this game when it's convenient for them and not sit in front of a TV. So the more we can get people onto streaming uh, and have that platform spread, I really believe will be the future for eyeballs and we'll continue to build our good league. What have you learned about the CFL over your three years being an owner? I didn't think it was as awesome as it actually is. I really believe that. I, I, knew how great it was watching as a kid, but when you get involved with the governors, you know, the commissioner, and you get into this level, the professionalism of this league is no different than any other league in the world. It is first class. The players are first class. Um, the ownership level, the commitment, it is a very, very um, storied league that I'm very, very professional, sorry, proud to be of, and bring our professionalism to it as our family. And really, we've invested in it. We put money in the team, the CFL. Um, we're so happy to be here, and we're so happy to see the young kids coming in. We've got 3,000 here today, we'll have another 3,000 tomorrow that we're busing in. Give them all Lion shirts, get them introduced to the CFL again, because there was a bit of a lost decade here in Vancouver, and we're trying to bring that back. So I've got to tell you, we're super proud, and we're not going anywhere. He's, he's involved in certain charities. He's, you know, downtown all the time. Why aren't we spending money here? Why aren't we doing this? That's a great question. We've never thought about it. We've never had the opportunity to spend or be as creative as we want to be. So Amara's been a tremendous advocate for us to really get outside the box and be as creative as possible to market the BC Lions, and that's been fantastic. I mean, this weekend is such a great example of how we're trying to do things differently, and we understand that it's gonna be a long progress to improve the fan base, not just at the BC Lions, but at the CFL. We're making strides with integrating Punjabi radio broadcasts to every single one of our games. We're bringing new Canadians to all of our games. We have, uh, you know, football 101 in literally every single language to try and integrate more folks to understand Canadian football. Um, and that is is how we're going to rebuild the Vancouver fan base as we sort of are a melting pot of new cultures.